How's it going everyone? My name's Adam Reeples Vox and these are the top three screenshot programs that you should try for Windows. If you'd like to see this done for other operating systems, let me know in the comments down below and I do want to note that these are in no particular order. The first one that we have here is called PicPic. Yes, P-I-C. P -I -C -K. This started out as a screenshot tool and has now developed into a, what they call an all-in-one design tool for users. And it has a lot of really cool features on top of being a screen capture tool, including uh, they have a color picker, a color palette, a ruler, crosshairs, like a lot of different things for design, as well as actually screen capping your desktop via the full desktop, window capture, region capture, adding annotations to your captures, you can do a whole lot with it, and it's absolutely free. It's actually a really cool screenshot program that I don't see anyone talking about, and so I wanted to make sure I recommended it. If you want to see full length tutorials on that program, also let me know in the comment section down below. Next up we have LightShot, often misreferred to as print screen because their URL is prnt.sr or whatever, or sc, I don't remember. They have a print screen-esque URL, but it's called LightShot, and it's a. This is the screenshot program that I use the most. It takes the original idea of what a lot of people use, which is Giazzo, in that it takes a screenshot and uploads it to a website, but it adds a lot more functionality to it. So you hit the print screen button, and you can take a screenshot, but then you can go through and change the region of the screenshot that you've taken even as you're adding annotations. So if you realize, oh, I needed to include this section, you can just stretch out the barrier and still include that before it actually takes the full screenshot, but everything's still frozen in time. You can add annotations, you can type on it, you can do boxes, arrows, all that jazz, and then it uploads to their website and you can either automatically get a link to copy it or share it out to social media, what have you. It's a really cool tool and I certainly prefer it to Giazzo. Giazzo, I have a lot of issues with Giazzo just because the uh, ha pretty much half of Giazzo screenshots that people send me, the URL never loads, ever, like ever. And so I never get to see them and it's just too basic for a lot of the things that I want to do. Third up, which you're going to laugh at if you actually know what it is or if you just have looked at it and looked over it, is the snipping tool within Windows. Epos, why are you recommending a built-in Windows program? Because you probably haven't actually tried it out or used it, unfortunately. People always jump to look for the best app they could download for this, that, or the other without realizing that there's always a lot of high quality built-in tools for the things you're trying to do, and screenshotting is one of those. Windows the Snipping Tool is actually really cool. It does pretty much everything these last two apps did in terms of taking screenshots, subregions, adding annotations, things like that, but gives you a very high quality local PNG file. Now, it doesn't automatically upload it and give you a share link like the other ones this is meant for taking screenshots to use on your computer, but when I'm trying to get the best, you know, the highest possible quality screenshot, I usually end up using the snipping tool as long as I'm not trying to immediately share it out. If I'm using it for videos or whatever, I will use the snipping tool because then I have a much higher quality PNG saved to my drive that I can then drag into my video project, and I just like it a lot. And like I said, I don't think a lot of people have actually tried it out, despite the fact that it's built into Windows. There's this idea that if you're using programs that came pre-baked into your operating system, you're a scrub or you don't know what you're doing, when the fact of the matter is it would be you would be considered a scrub for looking for programs that do what your operating system already does, and why waste the extra resources? So give it a try if you haven't already, I definitely recommend it, and these are the top three screenshot programs that are absolutely free. There are some paid ones like Snig Snagit, Snippet, Snagit, I think it's Snagit, uh, that I, I could take a look at at some point, but these are the top three free screenshot programs for Windows that I think you should take a look at. Links to all of them will be in the description below. Of course, this video is not sponsored by anyone except myself. This video is sponsored by Epos Vox. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, share the video if you know anyone who's looking for a screenshot tool, and I will catch you in the next video. I also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, these videos would not be possible, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more.